Hey everybody, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be looking at how to deploy Sentinel-1 through Intune. Uh, I've gotten so many questions about this, how to deploy it properly. A lot of people try this and it just doesn't work right. Um, and I'm going to show you how I do it. I have tested this, it does work. Uh, so just follow along with me and uh, you'll, you'll deploy Sentinel-1. So first things first, hop into Endpoint Manager, go to your app section and go ahead and add an app for Windows apps. Now, yes, we're going to be using Win32, so the catch with this is you have to convert the file to a dot into Win. Then you can upload it, and then you can deploy it. Uh, so that's the first step. Let's go ahead and convert it. We're going to click Learn More. It's going to pop open this article. Yeah, so they've got a lot of good information here. I'm not going to go through everything in here, but I'm looking for this on the right side. Prepare the Win32 app content for upload. That's a lot to say. Uh, I'll click it again, and that's just going to bring me down to this other piece, which is this, this content prep tool. That's what you want. That's where you actually download the utility that you can use to convert to a dot in tune win. It brings you to GitHub. Don't worry about understanding GitHub. It's just a code repository, and we're just going to download this file. So yeah, I'll go here, and I'll download this. I already have it downloaded. And matter of fact, I have it downloaded into a very specific location that I'd like to use um, primarily for referencing purposes. So let me show you that. Opened up my file explorer. Here's my local C drive. And I've got this Intune packages folder I built. And if you open this, what's kind of cool is you can see all these other apps that I've built and deployed. So yeah, I've done a lot of apps <laughs> with Intune. Uh, but we're just going to focus on Sentinel-1 today. And you can see right there, S1, that's what I called it. And I did that for a reason. It makes it a little bit easier to reference when you use this tool. And you're going to see that in a second. If I open up this folder, yeah, you're going to see both files there. So the .exe file and then the .msi file. Um, definitely use this .exe and convert that to a uh, .intune win and then upload that. That's what I've had work the best for me. Uh, you can even see it has the logo there. Uh, so that's a good indicator. You also, I renamed this. So S164, that was not the original download name. I changed it to that again for referencing. It makes it easier. So let's go back. Let's run this tool and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So yep, double click Intune Win App Utility. It's gonna open this uh, terminal looking piece. Don't worry, it's not that difficult. You just gotta make sure your referencing is easy and then the tool is easy. So you, you can see, it says, what is the source folder that your file's in? Well, I know that's in dot slash S1, because that's where I just put it. And then what is the actual file that we're looking for? I made it really simple and I just called it S1, S164.exe. And yes, you do have to put the dot exe. And it's saying, where do you want to output your newly created .intune win file? And I actually like to output it into the same folder. Makes it a little bit organized. So we'll just do dot slash S1 again. Uh, we don't need to catalog this. So we'll do no and let the magic happen. All right, so it's going to compress this. And we have to wait. So just uh, give it a second here. Uh, there we go. Okay, it's moving along here. Okay. My computer is moving a little slow today, but this will work. <laughs> okay, and let's hop to S1 here. And now you're going to see that I have this dot Intune win file now. So I, it took the .exe and it converted it to this, which now I can upload into Intune. So let's do that. We'll hop back to Intune now. Yeah, now we can hit select here. And now what we can do is we can select that file that we just built. So we can go here and uh, I'm gonna select this file real quick. Give me a second. And we'll go to same location I was in and I'm going to upload that Intune Win uh, file right there. You can see it, it even pre-fills this, kind of cool. Click OK. 
Uh, yeah, it's going to fill all this in. I'll just call this uh, Sentinel-1 Agent, make it easy. Yeah, you could put a description. I mean, you, you kind of know what this is. Uh, Sentinel-1, cool. Um, yeah, everything else here looks good. Uh, I do like to put a category, why not? Makes it a little bit more organized. All right, we'll go to the next page. Okay, so now, uh, so one of the downfalls here is because we did an EXE file, um, it actually doesn't pre-fill these for you. Kind of a downside. If you use an MSI, it will fill these, but I haven't had good luck with the MSI for Sentinel-1. This EXE always works. So I'm gonna actually input these in here now. Uh, so bear with me, let me pull these up. Give me one second. Now I'm gonna make up a site token here because I'm not gonna use a real site token, but that's what it should look like. You're gonna take your site token from the Sentinel-1 portal and put it in here. Obviously that's not a real value, but it would look something similar to that. And as far as the actual uninstall uh, command, you can just use this. Um, I'll just put it like there. Also, one other thing I like to do is I actually like to force a device restart on this. So Intune will force a mandatory device restart because most of these uh, EDRs, they actually require a device restart anyways. So might as well just force it. Okay, cool. We've got that set up. Let's move along. Requirements. All I do for this is I put 32 and 64 and I do the lowest build 1607. Really what this is doing is it's just saying that anybody, even if they're on a really low build, is going to get this deployment if they're targeted correctly. That's it for this. You could put some requirements, but it's not that heavy of an app. Go to the next page. All right, this part's really important. This is where I see the most errors with deploying Sigma 1. So you're going to do manually configure. You're going to do add. All right, that loaded. And we're going to do file. We didn't do an MSI. Um, but, so we're going to do file. This is where you got to put the path in correctly. Super important part. So let's go ahead and make sure we're doing this correctly. And you'll see what I did here. Now this is probably an outdated version at this point in time. So definitely use the correct version. Um, and you also want to make sure that the file is named correctly, which in Sentinel-1's case, that is how it's named, sentinelagent.exe. Cool. Uh, detection method, we're going to do file with folder exists. Okay, there we go. We got our path. Really double check this. Don't forget to put that space there. That will cause issues. Really, that's, I'm trying to hammer in on this because this is where a lot of people make mistakes. All right, cool. We'll go to the next page. No dependencies. We don't need that. Uh, there's no, um, this is if you have software that needs to be installed before this gets installed. Uh, in our case, we don't need that. So we'll go to the next page. Supersedence, same deal. Uh, this is if you want to uninstall a previous version. This is also in preview, so something to think about. We'll click next. This is where you deploy it. So really all you'd want to do is put the, um, the group inside of uh, required. That's going to do a traditional deployment. I'll do business development, why not? Um, there they are. I'm not actually going to do that, but it, I'm just trying to show you how you would do it if you're in production. I'm going to leave it empty, though. We'll go to the next page. And here we go. Let's double check this. All right. Dot Intune win. OK, we've got the install command with our site token. Really important. Uh, we've also got uninstall command and this the path. Really, really important. Make sure that's correct and uh, you're good to go. Let's create it. All right, it's going to save the application. And one last piece I like to point out here, it says application created, but what you want to see is that uploading. So wait for this to upload. It's going to give you, yeah, it gives you a percentage right here, which is kind of nice. Um, but that's it. That's how you deploy Sentinel-1. Pretty straightforward if you follow those steps. And uh, as always, subscribe below. Thanks, everybody.